So my name is Paresh and you're watching Tech Dynamics. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click on the subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you receive notifications of my new videos. Now, in some of our previous videos, we have already discussed about administrative settings and business management settings in Dynamics 365. In this video, however, we are going to concentrate on data management settings. Now, be it import of data or duplicate detections. So everything related to data is controlled via data management settings in Dynamics 365. It's going to be an overview, a high level overview so that you have a better understanding. Of course, there will be some parts which will be discussed in, in, in detail in upcoming videos. So stay tuned. So on your CRM, let's click on settings and let's click on data management. Now, the first thing is the duplicate detection settings. Now, for example, when you're creating a record or updating a record or even importing a record, you would not like to have your database with duplicate records. For example, if you are importing accounts and if there are more than one account with the same name or identification, then it might create a problem while reporting. You might not get the right results. So to avoid that, you can specify the duplicate detection settings where you can enable duplicate detection um, for detecting the duplicates when a record is created or updated or when Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Outlook goes from offline to online and that's when the synchronization happens or even during data import. It's recommended that you select all the options for better results. So you have enabled duplicate detection settings, but how would the system recognize a duplicate record? For that, you need to define duplicate detection rules. So what you do is you define various rules and specify the criteria on which uh, the system will come to know that there is a duplicate. So let's take an example over here, accounts with the same account name. So when we create a rule, we provide a, a sensible name over here so that we understand what is the rule all about, give it a description, and basically choose the base record type. So we want to create this rule on the entity called account. And whenever an account is created, updated, or imported, the system will check if the account name already exists and the criteria is exact match. You can select any other criteria as well, number of characters, and you can also ignore blank values if the for example if you're importing accounts and there are blank values inside the name you, you can tell the system to ignore the blank values and check if that account name already exists or not if the account name already exists or if the record already exists the system will give you a pop-up a warning message saying that a duplicate has been detected so that you can take further actions once you have defined this you need to publish uh, this rule and then the status reason will change to published and the rule will be in effect So it will be running in the background Now apart from enabling duplicate detection settings and also creating duplicate detection rules You can create and monitor duplicate detection jobs So for example, you can create a new job where you want to monitor all the duplicates on accounts or at some other entity, let's say contacts. So you can click on new, so which will open uh, a wizard and which will guide you to specify an entity and specify the subset of records. Basically, you can provide filters and specify the scheduling and notification options as well. So if you follow up this wizard, you will be able to create a new job. Apart from creating a new job, you can actually monitor them based on their statuses so you can monitor all the all the jobs, the ones which are completed, the ones which are in progress, uh, which are not started or ones which are recurring in nature. Now, next is bulk record deletion, where you can manage bulk record deletion job. So you can create various jobs to delete uh, records based on certain criteria or certain filters. Now, there might be uh, many situations where you have to delete records in a bulk rather than one by one, which might take uh, more time. And you might, you might also need to run that as a background job so that it does not affect your current functioning. So what you can do is you can click on new. 
this will open up a wizard which will let you to create um, the bug deletion job so click on next and then you have to provide uh, selection criteria or the search criteria which is a part of advanced filters so let's say I want to delete all accounts where the account status is equal to let's say inactive so you can um, you can define a, a complex search criteria or a simple search criteria and based on that you can uh, click on next and once you do that the job is created and it runs in the background now you need to make sure that you define your search criteria very carefully otherwise you might end up deleting uh, records which you know you did not want to so this is a very handy tool and you can create as many bulk rec uh, record deletion jobs as you like next is data maps now this is basically used during import of data while importing the data you can map the source uh, to the destination so that you can reuse it as many times as you want next is imports and as the name suggests um, these contains all the jobs when you are importing data so you can view the status of imports um, and what is the progress uh, in case there are failures you can know that as well so if I go into that you can see that there has been some certain jobs which have been completed so you can see the status reason uh, the success, uh, the partial failures, if there are any errors, total uh, processed, created on and then created by. So for example, if there are any errors, you can uh, double click on it, uh, which will take you to the settings and you can click on failures and you can see uh, the log uh, associated with that error and you can take corrective measures as well. Next is templates for data import. So Dynamics 365 provides a facility where you can download templates for various entities uh, that uh, you want to import in bulk. So what you can do is you can select the entity that you want to import. So for example, account and then click on download. So what it does is it downloads uh, the template in Excel format where you can fill up all your data and then use the import functionality to import that data in Dynamics 365. Now, the next one is sample data. As the name suggests, you can use this to create some sample data in Dynamics 365. Now, this is not used in the production environment. This is specifically used um, during testing or in a sandbox environment where you need to uh, test some transactions so this is for that purpose again you can add business processes that are ready to use and designed for common purposes like sales service and marketing and once you have added those you can find that under settings processes where you can manage them so you can go to settings and you can go to processes to manage those uh, business process now you can use data encryption to check the encryption status and change or activate the encryption key. What it does it, uh, is that it encrypts the current data and in case you're changing uh, your environment, you can use the generated encryption key to retrieve that data. So you can go ahead, you can click on show encryption key, save this key somewhere and if you're using, uh, if you're moving to another system, uh, or a tenant you can use this key again to retrieve that data now if you have some localized fields which require some translation so you can create the translations in dynamics 365 and use the export field translations over here and once you are ready with that you can use the import field translations to import those um, field translations into dynamics 365 for example, you are translating uh, from Chinese to English or vice versa or from any other language. So you can use this feature easily to save some time. And the next one is similar record suggestion settings. Now this actually uses Azure machine learning to suggest similar looking records in Dynamics 365. So if you want to use that feature, you can definitely go ahead and set that up and uh, have the Azure money, machine learning text analytics service to search similar looking records in Dynamics 365. So it's a good feature. You can go ahead and play around with it. 
So that was all about data management settings. I hope you got an overall picture what all settings are involved in data management and the features that you can use to manage your data while you're creating, updating or importing. Enjoy.